This game was played against Zatonsky. This was played in a tournament in Chicago that was like GM norms or something. I don't know. This was played, I think, 2004, something like that. Um, I don't think I've ever shown this game on stream. Maybe. And then, uh, and then Anna played here, and I took her queen. And then I said, gotcha, bitch. No, that didn't happen. C6. Uh, the, I mean, I spelled Sopranos wrong. Terrible. Yeah. Okay. Then I played E3. I've never faced G6 before. Okay, so we've transposed into like a Slav, Schlechter, Slav, Grunfeld, etc. Mainly etc. It's the boring world of Niels Bohr. Yeah, I used to play boring. I remember those days. I wish I did now. Yeah, so white's a little bit better. Nothing special. Yay, more space. The engine likes the way I'm playing so far. If the engine does not like F4, it says I'm the worst. Well, I, I, I guess I thought black would play here at some point, so I prevented it. But the engine thinks the solution is worse than the cure. So, uh, okay. So she played bishop g4, which the engine doesn't like. Bishop d3 it likes. Always repeat. I'm the best. Oh, man, look at me. Yes. I mean, even then I knew how to repeat. That was awesome. All right. So I'm trying to win on all three sides of the board. Trying is the first step to failure. Rook B8. So not a very exciting game, but not badly played. While the engine move was Rook F1, it decided that my maneuver was stupid, as did I. All right. It's just about equal. Everything's equal. Right, g4. Yeah, the game is just imbalanced the whole way. But then she got in time trouble. Boring. Still equal. Yeah, white's slightly better. It actually likes knight h7 better. I guess the knight can go to g6 or g5. Yeah, that makes sense. The knight has some more options there. Knight e2 is correct. Knight, knight g6, always retreat. Yeah, white's slightly better here. It's funny because the technically she has the good bishop and I have the bad bishop. Um, but the thing is, as the church has taught us, even a good bishop is a bad bishop. Yeah, 200,000 French kids can't be wrong. Truth hurts. Okay, so oh, this should be a draw with correct play. So it's boring, so I like it. Always play bishop f8. She was afraid I'd play g4 at some point. So she escaped the pin. I attacked the c-pawn. She defended it. And then I infiltrated and I penetrated. Just don't tell Karen. Bishop e7. Yeah. All right. Now remember, this is a long time ago. So I was pretty good. I wasn't old at the, during this game. <clears throat> I was your age. What? I mean, this game's like 16, 17, 18 years ago. So I was I was pretty good then. Yeah. And now you will know my name is the Lord. I was your age. Yeah. Mm. Etc. Mm -hmm. That's correct, Frodo. Bam! This was the first time in my life I said, gotcha, bitch. I thought you'd be mad because I penetrated against Zatonsky there. And then I sacked my bishop. Look at this. Bishop takes h6. Bam! That's the sacrifice you would have made. That's actually the correct move. Mm hmm Always repeat. And then I took. So I'm down a piece, but her king is so exposed that I should have perpetual if things don't go well. And I should be winning if I take this with check. Then I got like seven pawns for a piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. She played this, which is a blunder. 
the engine wants her to play bishop d8, which gives up this pawn. So I'm still winning, but this loses immediately. Now, the reason this loses is her bishop is now pinned pinned. I mean, she can't move anything. Mm -hmm. That move's actually pretty bad because she should realize she can't move here. She can't move her bishop or queen or king. Oh, so you can push that h pawn. Maybe. Yeah, but I mean, she can't move. So like, let, let's say that I played king h1. Okay, like a dumb move. Mm -hmm. What does she do? Oh, yeah. That move's just dumb because she has to move her queen and this pawn's hanging with check anyway. But she's in time trouble and this is hanging with check, so she just made a move. But she's in Zook's one. But you were correct. Mm -hmm. I have a very funny mating attack. Here, here, mate. Oh, yeah. So that's, you know, put it in H. Yeah. yeah. Now the engine says she should give her queen away because that's better than getting mated. She played F4 and I ignored it, obviously. <clears throat> and then she resigned because here, here comes mate. Yeah, pretty good attack with no pieces. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. I hear the last board finishing up, so I'm going to go check mm -hmm. on that. And I have to get a Perrier unless you want to get me one. Yeah, I can get it. Now, hey, Jay Wolfman. this is one of the biggest beatdowns of all time. So just warning you, if you're under 18, maybe ask your parent if you can see this game. This is a rapid game. I think it's 25 minutes. Okay, I'm white. Play my usual whiteness Sicilian. And not usual. Mm. Hey, Ross Salimo. Yeah. I did a lot of prep for this match, so I play good openings. Knight a3 is a good positional move. Get that knight on c4. Knight a6 is shallow and pedantic. Stopping knight b4. Yep. Cementing my knight on c4. Always retreat. See, I checked him with the knight. Mm -hmm. Now he has a Sophie's choice. Because king h8 is no good and bishop takes is no good. Right. So king h8 is better because two bishops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now f7 is weak. It's easy to defend except for one thing. Yeah. You can't play knight g5. Mm -hmm. You can't play queen e8 because your b pawn's hanging. You probably don't want to play knight d8. Yes, he's already lost. He played knight d8, defending his pawn. a5, suffocating him. Now he has a weakness on b6. Then my rook can go to h4. Yeah. Just a second. Now what I know what it's like when you have a gun. God. God likes to text me during my streams. Yeah. Now, material is equal. You agree? Uh... I'll take your word for it. Right, and I'm up three. Because I used to be good, and then, you know, old. All right, then he played here. Bishop f4, god damn. Yeah, this is how Carlson would beat, like, a 1,000 player, except black wouldn't have any pieces. They'd be the same position, just black would be down four pieces. Yeah, if I showed this game to Carlson, he would, like, beg me to be a second in the world championship. But probably Napomniachi would pay me more. Okay, so he took the poison pawn. Always retreat, because that's the best move. Notice how I attack his queen and his rook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's funny is it's, it's still the best. And now I'm up a rook. Now my knight's pinned to my rook. Mm -hmm. He's tricky. And then I attack his queen, so then I can move my knight away. Now I'm up a rook again. He takes another pawn. And I saved my rook. Safe. Yay. Put it in H. Yeah, knight d7 is annoying. God damn. Here. Bishop e5. Also, he's down a rook here. Yeah, and then he resigned. Yeah, that was my only win of the match, but it was good. Does Ben analyze any Magnus games? Well, I didn't play. Magnus isn't playing in the U.S. Championship, so I can't. 